All right, let's try this one more time, shall we? Good evening, everybody, for the second time in a row, and depending on whether or not the tin foil on the receiver in the studio holds together, we are coming to you live from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, and as of right now, it's decently quiet. Again, assuming we have internet issues that will not keep us off air for the time being. And looking again at pretty quiet conditions across much of the area for right now. Continuing again to see a few more showers out across the Mid-South sticking around into the rest of the evening, but not seeing anything really much more than that. And should be again not seeing anything in the way of severe weather for the time being. But as we go into later on this next week could be the potential of some more stronger weather heading our way along with some very mild temperatures out there that's the best news of all easily at this time of the year we could be into around the upper 90s we are not seeing anything like that at this time so very good news at this point in time so we're not seeing a problem from the temperatures out there which we'll take a look at in detail coming up here in just a few minutes so stay tuned for more on that got anything in the way of weather pictures out there tweet them to me again you can find out more by going to my social media web pages and you can find out a lot more by going to wreg.com and again clicking on that for more on the weather forecast out there so we can keep you updated online and on air and again let us know what's going on in your neck of the woods tonight wherever you happen to be checking in from city state combination uh, no specific street address is necessary but uh, thank you for trusting us with that but just city state will do and if you got any weather reports out there uh, rainfall amounts temperature wind speed whatever. Let's do some, again, uh, amateur meteorology and see what's going on from in and around the Mid-South area. From farther away, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, Glenda Hoover, welcome to the show. Jeffrey Griffiths from South Memphis, light rain and 64 degrees, and everybody else checking in from across the Mid-South for tonight. So decently quiet again across much of the area for now. Here's what it looks like going into overnight. Not seeing any problems for the Mid-South where it comes to the forecast late this evening. Whatever drizzle we do have out there should be going away and should be, again, the possibility of some more areas of showers later on, but just not really seeing that much going on at this time for the overnight uh, period of time. So good news on that. And again, decently quiet into tomorrow. Decently chilly as well, with numbers back in the mid to upper 50s by tomorrow morning. So we'll see the clouds start to break up across parts of the Mid-South. Those northerly winds will do a very good job of keeping the temperatures a little bit lower into tomorrow. So we could see some mid-50s out there. Getting into tomorrow late morning, temperatures in the upper 50s, heading for the mid-70s tomorrow afternoon. So some very mild conditions out there as we get into tomorrow afternoon. And round about sunset and just afterwards heading towards Sunday night, temperatures cooling off once again, heading back into the lower 60s. Just a bit below normal for this time of the year again. Pretty close to where we should be, but just a little lower than normal thanks to the clouds and rainfall blocking the sunshine out. So 70 degrees was all we could manage in Memphis. 64 the low. That's a little bit above the normal for this time of the year. About a third of an inch in the rain gauge for today. And that puts us at about six, roughly six and a third inches ahead for the year. So nothing showing up in the way of drought activity for the Mid-South. So very quiet news in there. Mickey Callens from a little bit beyond the Mid-South, Boise, Idaho, 75 and sunny out that direction. Welcome to the show from out west. Do appreciate that. Judy Thorpe, quiet night in the Covington area. And everybody else checking in for this evening. Again, drop your weather reports into the comments section. And let's take a look at where you are checking in from and what the weather's like there. Just a bit of sunset tonight. Not much, but enough to, again, give us a little bit of an illumination and remind us that there are some more drier days ahead. From the Shelby Farms Park Cam right along Farm Road, looking back toward Humane Society of Shelby County in Memphis. Just a bit of a break in the clouds for right now. And again, breaking up those clouds a little bit, but they still are sticking around. From the Weather Underground Camera Network, Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee, looking back to the northwest here under mostly cloudy skies. And downtown Memphis, again, rocking for tonight. The view from our Cotton Exchange camera showing the Beale Street Music Fest in full swing for tonight. Many thousands of people out there for this evening and not seeing any severe weather threat, which we have seen at various times of the year. So, again, at various other music festivals tonight, a little drizzly, nothing to worry about. So looking good as we look toward downtown Memphis tonight. And for the final day coming up tomorrow, 
looks even better. We'll get into that forecast in just a little bit. So if you're heading down to Tom Lee Park tomorrow, should be great weather. No rain protection needed for Sunday, so there's definitely some good ideas uh, into and around the area there. Scott Bullard, raining in Macon, Tennessee, has been almost all day. What's the outlook for the races in Millington on Sunday? We'll get to that forecast in just a little bit. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there. William Skage, Lower Michigan, 45 degrees. Yeah, okay, 45 degrees. Sorry, two-point typeface and bifocals. Uh, doesn't really mix too well on that. Thanks for checking in there and for everybody else for right now. What's left of the rainfall? Shelby County, the loop area right down here. Eastern Shelby County still picking up some showers, very light and dwindling as they make their way off to the east. So in eastern Arkansas, the rain has cleared your area. Same thing for southeastern areas of Missouri. Western Kentucky seeing most of that, and northwest Tennessee as well. A few showers east of Dyersburg and Ripley in northwest Tennessee, and all that should be making its way out of the picture later on. Drier air coming through, but the cloud cover at this point, roundabout in the areas of eastern Oklahoma, getting again some clearing skies out here, but the light gray colors, this is the cloud cover on the satellite picture. So this will be sticking around throughout the rest of the evening. Our latest storm system with the, all that rainfall wrapping up and making its way out of the picture as we go into the next couple of days. Should be seeing that storm system making its way over into the Appalachians, East Coast states, Mid-Atlantic for there. And as an added bonus, we get a couple of days break before our next storm system heads on through. And this could be a problem for late next week. We'll show you that one coming up here in just a little bit. Two inches plus at Heidelberg Elementary in uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi. Just over an inch at Ole Miss in Oxford for tonight. Mississippi wound up with most of the rainfall for today. Mostly along and south of I-40 is where the heaviest activity was. Now through the night, again, that drizzle will continue and making its way out into the area and getting rid of that through about News Channel 3 at 10. Midnight, most of that should be across the Tennessee River and heading away from us, so looking much better there. And then by daybreak tomorrow morning, we'll still have those clouds out there, the gray colors here. Again, some cloud cover left over, but clearing skies back into Arkansas and the Mississippi Valley by early tomorrow morning into the area tomorrow, late morning into the early afternoon. More sunshine means warmer temperatures, so it looks like we're probably going to make the lower to mid-70s briefly tomorrow before dropping back on down once again with numbers in the 60s by about the time we hit sunset Sunday. Hopefully some good sunrise and sunset pictures tomorrow. We'll see how well that works out coming up a little bit later on. Now, severe weather threat at this time just not being seen at this point. All of that has made its way back over to the East Coast states and only a marginal threat. As we go into the next couple of days, north and west of the Mid-South area, we've got a couple of storm systems going to be, again, setting up to give us that potential of a wider area of severe weather. Now, this is for Monday, and again, just a lower, possibly marginal threat of severe weather right along I-70, taking a downturn through the panhandles and into southern Texas. By the time we hit about Thursday or so, a possibility of a new round of severe weather sweeping in from the west. But again, that's way too far to tell at this point in time. You're going to have to watch News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on what may be heading our way. These forecasts from the Storm Prediction Center is where we get all the information out there. So again, we will keep you updated on that. So thanks everybody again for checking in out there. No matter where you're from, drop your city, state, location into the comments section. And we'd love to have you along for the ride there. So for tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine, a little bit warmer. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s and seeing mostly clear skies throughout the day as we go into Sunday. Monday also keeping mostly clear temperatures back in the lower 80s, and then the mid-80s on Tuesday. So again, we could easily be back in the 90s. Not happening right now, so that's good news. And then for Tuesday afternoon and evening, developing chances of showers and some thunderstorms. Another good chance coming up on Wednesday. The best possibility for anything involving stronger weather for now, at least, appears to be around Thursday or so, and then dwindling as we head toward very early next Saturday. So Sunday at this time looks really nice. If you're going to be outdoors, uh, whatever you've got going on, Beale Street Music Festival, whatever festivals are else uh, going on around the Mid-South, this looks pretty good for tomorrow. Tuesday onwards through about early Saturday morning, 
more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through. And again, Thursday, that's where we're really going to have to watch and see what goes on here. Now, really good news for Mother's Day next week, Sunday. Uh, looking great. Everything clears on out. And if you're taking mom to lunch or dinner or whatever, not going to have to worry about the umbrella or severe weather or anything like that. So that looks great. Uh, right after that, another chance of a shower or thunderstorm on Monday. Confidence is pretty low at this point in time, considering how far out we are from this. So less of a chance of anything really happening there. But we'll keep you up to date on that one. Welcome to everybody checking in for tonight. Do appreciate the kind comments and the uh, weather reports out there. Thank you guys very much for dropping those in and around the area. And catch up with my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. I'm glad to keep you updated on that. Tomorrow morning, cool temperatures, calm winds, and a decent amount of humidity from the rainfall that's left over. Very good possibility we could be seeing some very low visibilities into tomorrow morning. So plan ahead for that if you're heading out to church, Sunday school, wherever you happen to be going tomorrow morning. This morning it was wet roadways. That caused a few accidents. Heading out tomorrow, that's where we could see some lower visibilities due to fog. So please remember to make certain you save a little bit more time to get to where you're going so you're not in a rush. Again, with those lower visibilities out there, you really don't want to go uh, rushing around on in conditions like that. Also, Keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Yours truly will have an update coming up tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak to keep you advised of what's going on there. Temperatures into the rest of the evening. Again, the overnight forecast showing the numbers dropping into the mid to upper 50s with those northerly winds. Could be some patchy fog into tomorrow morning as well, so please plan ahead for that. And again, I'll have more on daybreak with sunrise tomorrow, hopefully seeing some sunrise this time around. This morning was a little gloomy and a little drizzly, so tomorrow looking a little better out there as we see again some fairly nice conditions across the Mid-South. And of course, I'll have an update on whether where the troops are. If you've got friends, loved ones uh, serving in the United States military, we'll take a look at various United States military outposts around the globe and see what's going on out there. So stick around for more of that. That'll be coming up at about a quarter till nine on my Facebook, Periscope, and uh, Twitter pages as well for more details there. Questions, concerns, ideas, something on here you would like to see more of, more satellite picture, more climate data, more jet stream, whatever you got, more webcams, anything like that, please let me know. Drop me a line on either the social media pages that I'm all on, except for Snapchat. I'm trying to get a hold of that and a hang of that, but it's not easy, unfortunately. Uh, more information directly to me at austin.onic at wreg.com and again would love to have you along for the ride there and of course we'll have more coming up tonight with a full update of all the day's news weather and sports on news channel 3 at 10 so stay tuned for more on that thanks everybody for joining us for tonight and keep it tuned to news channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend for further forecast updates and hope everybody has a safe one out there thanks for joining us tonight <laughs>